Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. That is an unreal process has crashed UE4FNAF underscore SOTM. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Do not ignore this. Just restart your computer and then try to launch the game. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Now the next step is to rename or delete this file that is sl.pcl.dll now for this you can go to this location so make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files and then open this engine folder then open this plugins folder open runtime folder open nvidia folder open streamline folder binaries third party win64 and over here you can see sl.pcl.dll you can just create a backup so copy this file and maybe paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created now you can rename it or you can even delete it so just rename it and then launch the game uh, if that does not work you can even delete this uh, uh, file and then you can check if you face any problem you already have a backup so you can always put it back if you face any problem now the next step is to rename streamline folder if that does not work uh, you can go back from here and win 64 again go back again back binaries here you can see streamline make a right click and then create a backup again just create a backup and then you can just make a right click and then you can rename it dot old if you face any problem you can always uh, put the original folder back and then you can launch the game and then check so for me this is working fine i'm not facing any problem so here you can see the game is launching perfectly fine so so let me close the game for now now the next step is to delete the config folder now before you delete the config folder let me inform you all saved settings will be lost to delete the config folder you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder open your username folder open app data folder if you don't see app data over here at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder over here open this folder and open saved folder here you can see this config folder so again if you want to create a backup you can create a backup you can just create a backup once you have a backup you can make a right click and then you can delete this you can delete it or you can rename it whatever you want so maybe rename it or delete it and then you can check if that does not work the next step is to rename player settings dot sav file now when you do this you will lose all the save game progress you have to start everything from scratch so before you delete this you can create a backup once again so go to same location this is the location and then open save games folder and then here you can see player settings.sav so you can create a backup first copy this paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created now you can rename this And then you can check so I've renamed it now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can rename the complete save game files you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch so create a backup so go back go back again back here you can see go to this location and then you have to uh, you have to rename this complete game folder again create a backup and then you can just make a right click and then you can rename it and then you have to launch the game and you have to start everything from scratch now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now for this make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files this will take you to the game installation folder now make a double click over here and launch the game from here if that does not work open this folder binaries win64 here you can see the game exe file make a double click launch the game from the game installation folder still not working then make a right click on the game select properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work again go to properties this time 
put a check over here and then select windows 8 hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working this time you can select windows 7 over here apply ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security in that in that case you can open windows settings and then go to privacy and security then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder this is the location in my case select the game exe file click on open again click on add and allowed app browse all apps and then open this folder binary is bin64 select this exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on allow under app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again open the game folder select the game exe file click on open click on add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then open this folder binary is win64 select this exe file click on open and then click on add once the game is added over here now launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest ge force game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the amd card users first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver restart your computer go to amd website select your graphic card and then install the latest graphic card driver restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file and once it is added click on it select high performance and you will see a graphic card again click on add desktop app this one this exe file is important so open this folder binary is win64 select this one this is important and then click on add once the game is added over here now you can click on the game and then for gpu preference select high performance only now launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to verify the game files now for this make a right click on the game select properties go to installed files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 launch the game and then check if that does not work type in dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this empty it and then follow the next step now the next step is to update windows to the latest version now for this open windows settings this is important so go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for update and then once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel go to hardware and sound 
and then go to power options over here if you see power saver option in my case i have only balance if you see power saver you can select power saver and then check you can even go for balanced and you will also see high performance so you can check one by one which one is working fine for you so try power saver and then check now the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see visual files you have to download this x86 and x64 download both the files so click on it and then run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and make sure both are installed once installed you can close this and then restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game next step is to do not overclock so if you have overclocked your computer set it to default close all the overclocking application like so if you have msi afterburner reva tuner or any kind of overclocking application running you can close it so make sure that you do not overclock close all the overclocking application disable steam overlay now for this make a right click on the game select properties and then in the general tab over here you can see enable steam overlay while in game turn it off and then check if you have any other overlay application running like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app settings turn off overlay uh, nvidia overlay so close all the overlay application and then launch the game next step is to unplug all the external devices from your computer so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnected disconnect extra controller sometimes we have additional controller connected to the computer so disconnect 
extra controller if you have usb dongle connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party application or services running close it also if you have undervolted you can remove the undervolt and then launch the game still not working the next step is to update the system bios so go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, go to Dell, Lenovo or HP computer, go to HP website. So go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model number, your computer, and then update the BIOS. In case of uh, laptop, make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the, ch the charger is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Now, if nothing is working, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. This is important. So if nothing works, you can just make a right click, manage, uninstall. The, after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive, like D drive, E drive, or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive, and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, install the game to another SSD, and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time, and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.